I'm John Purchase, a partner with the law firm of Wadler, Purchase, Hundo, and Curlick uh, out of our Richmond, Texas office. Uh, the video I'm bringing you today has to do with probate avoidance. Um, first, what I'd like to talk to you about is the main goal of an estate plan. Uh, the main goal when we're setting up an estate plan is to make things as easy and as um, smooth and seamless as possible for those that we leave behind when we die. Um, and when you think about it, it's, it's a time in their lives where they're already going through uh, a pretty stressful time after a, the death of a loved one. And so, uh, as I said, the goal of an effective estate plan is just to make things as easy as possible for those, um, uh, those loved ones that we leave behind. Um, the first method in which uh, we try to accomplish this is certainly to have a will. Uh, but then, if we can avoid the necessity to actually have to probate that will, then we've made things uh, even more uh, easy and seamless uh, for our loved ones. Um, because of a uh, tool that the Texas, Texas legislature uh, created in 2015 uh, called a transfer on death deed, uh, we are now able to set up estate plans where it is a lot of times unnecessary for someone to probate the will. Uh, quick word on probate. Uh, what the probate process is, is when the executor that's named in the will, uh, with the help of a lawyer, uh, files an application with the court asking the court to uh, acknowledge that will as the valid last will and testament of the deceased and to appoint the executor to represent the estate. That used to be the only way that people in Texas uh, were able to transfer title to uh, real property after death. Since the creation of the transfer on death deed, what it essentially does is it creates a beneficiary designation to your real estate, such that upon your death, instead of the need to hire a lawyer, go to court, probate the will, and all that's involved with that, all that would be required to effectively transfer title to that piece of real property is to file an affidavit with the county clerk where the real estate is um, indicating that the uh, owner of the property passed away. Uh, again, it's a very effective tool, uh, one that we recommend to uh, all of our clients who own real property who are going through estate planning uh, and I would suggest to you uh, to give me a call, 800-929-1725 um, or um, look us up on our website, www.wphk-law.com to set up a consult to uh, discuss your estate plan and specifically how transfer on death deeds might play into it.